after a recent Periscope that I did, I was asked to have a more permanent video for you to use for help with the lower back and some posture issues. So that's what this video is for today. It's for you to use if you're having trouble with posture and positioning or with issues in your lower back. I myself have some issues in my lower back from an old injury and surgery from about five years ago to the point where most mornings it takes me some time to stand all the way up. So I want to show you today some things that you can do to help relieve that pressure in the lower back and, and pull the spinal bones, the vertebra, just open them a little bit to give it some space to relieve some pressure there to help you stand up straighter. So a good posture is actually head over shoulder, over hip, over ankle. But what I see most of the time in my clients is one of two postures. Here's the first one, shoulders rolled forward with a bit of a bump or hunch in the upper back. This is a lot of moms and also a lot of people that sit at a desk all day. When you stand like this, these bones and these bones press into the organs and push the organs out into the rectus abdominis, causing that to fall forward most of the time and it's just not good for your organs. It's also not good for your lower back. The other one I see is this one. This is weak tummy, lower back issues. So people with a weak tummy tend to sit back on their lower back, which pushes the tummy out and pushes the organs against the rectus abdominis, which can open it out and cause it to spill forward. Most of the time creating a bigger belly than the person actually has. It also pushes into the lower lumbar area and compresses this lower back region, which hurts after some time, after not a lot of time, because it hurts already this morning. Okay, so to correct that posture, we need a constant focus on pulling our head up over our ear, this part taller, and pushing the spine down through our tailbone to make the spine longer. The other focus is to push the shoulders down and back away from the ears. Okay, this into this is really important for opening that posture, having more confidence in the way that you're positioned in yourself, and it helps all these organs breathe, literally. Okay, so here's some things to do. I'm gonna go through them slowly, and then as we build momentum, you'll see that I speed some movement up, kinda get some fluidity in the movements, to help with mobility and lengthening out that lower back. Start at the front of your mat, put your feet underneath your hip bones, tuck your tailbone down, get flat and strong from hip bone to hip bone in the front. That means this muscle, the transverse abdominis, you're always pulling that up and in. Shoulders down, back and away from your ears and ribs in line with the rest of you. So not out here and not back here, but in line, pushing up through the top of your head. Start with arms. So just breathe, bring the hands up and the shoulders down, exhale down. So I'll show you from the front. What I'm doing is I'm bringing my hands up but not my shoulders. Breathe and exhale down. I'm not moving my rib cage. Breathe, exhale down. Now I'm a Pilates person, which means that I breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. And then I breathe into my actual lungs, not into my belly. I do recommend that you learn that breathing style. It will change your posture and it will change the way that your core looks. Breathe, exhale down, and breathe, and exhale down. Now we're just gonna add on to that. So we're standing in this nice straight position. There's room behind you. Breathe, exhale, come down, bring your hands down, let them reach whatever it is that they can reach today. Okay, it might be your thighs, it might be your shin bones. So as you exhale, you're gonna fold towards your legs, trying to allow the spine to open up. When you breathe in, you're gonna push your head away, push your shoulders back down and away from your ears, push your hips back and try to become a flat back. Breathe in here, breathe out as you fold, pulling the tummy muscles away from the thigh muscles and away from your clothes, making this part longer and bringing the head a little closer to your legs. So this part is really important here. Your hamstrings are tied to your glutes or tied to your lower back. Breathe in, flat back. Breathe out and fold. Breathe in, flat back. Now you'll notice the more I do this, the easier it gets to fold. 
because I'm warming up all of these muscles back here and loosening them up as I go. Exhale, fold. One more, breathe into flat. Then exhale to bend your knees and put your hands down. Everybody is going to be different here, but come back and put your knees down. Now, from this position, you want to tuck your tailbone under. Go ahead and lift the toes up. Roll the shoulders down back and away from the ears. Place the hands underneath your shoulders. So let's double check that. One hand under this shoulder, one hand under this shoulder. Fingers spread nice and wide. And your elbows are skinny to your body, not pushing out. Skinny to your body. Just bring them right next to your ribs and push back up. Breathe. Exhale up. So I'm warming up the back of the arm. Now this time we're going to come all the way down to the mat. So this is called a chaturanga. Chaturanga down to the mat. Now when you breathe in, I want you to just press your head up and elongate the spine. Now my hands are barely helping me because I have very limited spinal mobility at this point, so they're just barely helping me. I'm gonna exhale and come closer to the mat. Now when I breathe in, I'm not allowing my belly to expand. I'm actually pulling my belly up and away from the mat. And when I exhale, keep that part flat and strong. Breathe in and push the top of your head up, shoulders away from your ears, elongating your spine, not crunching your lower limbar. Exhale and come down. Breathe in to extend and expand. Exhale down. So each time I'm getting a little more mobility in that lower back. I can feel it start to lengthen out. So don't lift any higher than you feel like you can control and it's getting longer. Now this time I want you to go ahead and use your hands to come up onto your knees and then tuck your toes under and push up into downward facing dog. Now a good downward facing dog has heels easing towards the mat, head in between the biceps, hips very high, back flat, tummy muscles away from the ears. Now why is this important? It is lengthening all the muscles through the back and through the back of the leg. So this takes some time and you can move through by using a pedal of the heels or both heels to try to lengthen through the back of the leg. That part's really important. Okay, so take some time here for a moment and try to imagine that you can ease your hips higher, push your heels down, and get really long through your arms. Your weight is actually in your feet, not up and over your hands. A big mistake that I see is this people are way up over their hands. Push the weight back into your heels. Okay, now we're going to be moving through a plank, chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Put your knees down whenever you need support in your core, especially if you are still modifying core activity. So here we go. We're going into a plank. Put your knees down here if you need to. Then you chaturanga with the elbows right by your sides. Breathe in and press the head up. Exhale to flip the toes over and go into downward facing dog. Come back into plank. Chaturanga down. Inhale to press the head up. Lift. Flip the toes over and go into downward facing dog. Now watch this. Start with your lower back when you go into plank. Start with your lower back and extend out long. Chaturanga down. Upper dog downward dog and it's going to start to flow a little better and you're going to start to feel that compression lift out of the lower back. Plank to chaturanga to upward dog to downward dog. Let's do one more. Plank to chaturanga to upward dog to downward dog and stay. Bring one foot forward. Turn your back leg. Now face the foot that's this way. Okay, you turn the back foot out. Walk your hands up that leg and start to straighten it out. Turn your body towards that leg. Push this shoulder back and push your hip back. Now with a flat back, fold over that leg. This is a pyramid pose and it's important because it opens up the back of the leg even more. Now when you exhale, I want you to go ahead and round the spine over that leg. And when you inhale, I want you to start with the lower back and then 
flatten the spine out. Pushing that shoulder back, pushing that hip back. You're gonna feel that open up. Exhale down towards that leg. Now each time you do this, you can probably feel that it's loosening up and you're able to get a little deeper. You really want to focus here flat, then start the movement from the lower back to around the spine and open it up. Breathe in the flat. And exhale to come over that leg. Place your hands down. Go into a low lunge here. That means everything is facing in this direction. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around and we're gonna switch our feet. So this foot's gonna face the camera or you're gonna face me and this foot is gonna face out, okay? Now turn towards that toe. Look at your toes here. Start to walk your hands up, straightening out both legs. Find your position, pull this shoulder back and pull this hip back. Go into a flat back over that leg. Allow the back of the leg to open up Breathe, exhale to start from the lower back and around the spine down by the leg. Tummy muscles away from the clothes. Breathe in to start the movement from the lower back. Go into a flat back, pull that shoulder back, pull that hip back. Exhale to round over the leg. Inhale to start the movement from the lower back. Exhale to round the spine. Inhale to start from the lower back. Exhale. Open that section up. Now I'm going to have both hands down, both legs straight, both feet face the front. Hands down. Now hands can also be here. Draw my thighs, okay? So I push the head away. Push the hips back tabletop position with the spine. Then allow the head to drop down towards the ground. And if it's more comfortable for you, put your hands down on the ground. Breathe into a flat back. Hands on the thighs if they're not already. And stand it all the way up. If you need some more help and support, leave me a message wherever you're seeing this video. Let me know what's going on with your spinal mobility and your posture today so that I can help you better. I hope you feel better after doing that little bit of a warm up this morning and now you're ready to go get your day. Have a good one.